GoBuster, a powerful tool for web exploration and auditing. In this video, we'll explore the basics of GoBuster, its usage, and its potential applications in cybersecurity. GoBuster is a web content scanner written in Go. It can be used to find hidden directories, files, and subdomains on your web servers. It does this by systematically testing a list of words or patterns against the URL you supply to it. Based on the response of the web server, GoBuster creates a list of assets it has discovered. While there are many tools available that can perform discovery tasks during penetration testing or bug hunting, we have found that GoBuster is a fast and lightweight application that is able to scan faster than DERP. This is mainly because of its multi-threading features. To use GoBuster, we first have to install it. To install it on Kali Linux, we can use a go install function. We assume you know how to install Golang on your Kali Linux installation. Using the git of GoBuster, we can find out exactly how to download it. After the installation of GoBuster has been completed, we recommend to install Seclist. This is a repository of word lists and can be downloaded using the APT. GoBuster is able to perform several types of scans. We can use it to find virtual hosts, subdomains, directories, S3 buckets, Google Cloud Storage, TFTP and files. To define the scan type that we want, we use one of the flags associated with it. Let's look at the most common use for GoBuster, uncovering directories and files on your own web services. The most simple way to do this is by setting GoBuster to the directory enumeration mode by using the dir flag. We then add the U flag followed by a URL to select our web server. As the last item, we add a word list by using the W flag. While Kelly comes with its own word list that would be sufficient for most tasks, we have installed Seclist for a reason. With Seclist, we have a larger selection of word lists available to us than the standard installed in Kali Linux. In Kali, Seclist is installed in the folder User Share Seclist. From there, we browse to the Discovery Web Content folder and select one of the word lists. When we run GoBuster, we can see the GUI of the application. It displays several interesting items. The URL that has been set, the method that is used during the scan, the word list that is selected, the HTTP status codes that GoBuster uses to see if a page does not or does exist, the user agent of GoBuster, and the amount of time before a request times out. These settings can be adjusted by using the various flags that we can set in GoBuster. We can find out the flags we can set by requesting the help file for the specific mode we are using. When we type help and the mode we want help information for, GoBuster displays the relevant information. During enumeration, be aware that GoBuster does not do recursive enumeration, which means that discoverers directories are not scanned by GoBuster. They would need to be crawled for files and folders again. Other enumeration tools do not have this limitation. GoBuster is able to find subdomains. It does this by adding a subdomain to the domain supplied. It then sends a query to the name server of the domain to see if the subdomain exists. If it exists, then it's added to the list by GoBuster. To add your domain, we can use a D flag, followed by the domain name. Afterwards, we need to add the W flag for the word list, and again, we select one from sec list. This time, however, it is in the DNS section. The last thing that we might need is the wildcard flag. This flag allows GoBuster to continue even if there is a wildcard DNS. A wildcard DNS is a record that will match the request for non-existent zones. This means that without the flag, GoBuster would tell us there is a wildcard record in place and stop. What is also handy to use in this mode is the I flag. This flag shows the IP address of the discovered subdomains. If we see multiple subdomains with the same IP, the web server might have a virtual host running. We can use the virtual host discovery function to find that out. We can use GoBuster to find virtual hosts. I see you wondering now, what is a virtual host? A virtual host is a function of a web server that is used if you have multiple domains pointed to the same server. Using virtual host, your server is able to distinguish between requests that are made from multiple different domains. This is done by using the headers that are sent along in the request. 
The web server looks for a host header or one of its variants. It is then able to forward the traffic to the correct website. GoBuster is able to change the headers to see if there is a virtual host present. To use GoBuster to discover virtual hosts, we need to use the vhost flag. We also need to supply a word list. This is done with the W flag followed by a word list location. There are specific word lists that target virtual hosts. We can then use the U flag to specify the URL or the host name of our domain and scope. We recommend to read the help file on each of the types of discovery that GoBuster is able to do. This can be done with the help flag followed by the type of discovery. This will show all the flags that are possible and explains how to use them. As you can see, GoBuster is a powerful tool for discovering assets, directories and files, assisting you in protecting your systems against the ever-evolving digital threat landscape. If you need more examples on how GoBuster works and its flags, you can visit GoBuster's GitHub page. If you learned anything from this video, press that like button or subscribe button. Leave a comment and tell us what you've learned and what you would like to see next. Thank you for watching.